video two on how to set up your own habitat. As I said in the last video, I like to use a variety of containers of different sizes. And that's because I like to have them in their various stages in a different container. This particular container I call my nursery. In the last video, we set up our little jar in the spice jar. These, this jar of milkweed has numerous eggs on it and I'm going to place it now in my container that I call my nursery. I like to have things firm so that you don't have any spillage with the water. So I put them inside different containers that just help support the little vases as well. So this one is my nursery. Over here I have my little chompers. I call them little chompers. There's about four caterpillars in here. You can see how they are growing. You can tell you your caterpillars have come out of their egg when you begin to see holes in the plant. You can see how they chomp the holes in the plant. So these are my little chompers. This is when you're gonna need to start having fresh milkweed as much as possible. You can throw in leaves at a time, one or two leaves at a time, and they will chow it down. They will even eat the entire stem depending on how many you have. Again, you can see in here that I have all of these in spice jars in order to prevent the caterpillars from falling into the water. Over here in this container, I have chrysalis. There are six chrysalis hanging up here in, the, in this container. Over in this corner, this one has grown dark. It's a little hard to tell because of the lighting, but that one will be closed sometime in the next day or so. And then in this corner, there are four more. When your caterpillars form their chrysalis, this is the time when it's important to now put fresh flowers in your container. And this is one reason I like to change things up into separate containers. Uh, once the butterfly eclosis, it is going to want to eat. And so if you put some fresh flowers in the container, that will give the butterfly what it needs. Butterfly's uh, favorite is butterfly bush. They also like the blossoms that are on a milkweed. They are very beautiful and very fragrant. So whatever flowers you happen to have, and again, it makes the habitat just look all pretty. Once again, as you can see, I put the vase inside a firmer vase, just again to help with spillage and the entire container inside a box. In this particular case, it's a cardboard box. So there you go, how you can set up your own butterfly habitat. I hope you will join the monarch world and help us preserve monarch butterflies particularly by maintaining and growing milkweed. Uh, please do not use pesticides because that too will kill caterpillars and butterflies. And if you've got milkweed growing, let it grow. You can grow milkweed in a container, in a pot, in order to help prevent it from overtaking your entire gardens. And um, like I said, they're a beautiful flower and they're very fragrant. So I hope you enjoy this and I hope that you will join the Monarch Butterfly World. Take care.